Dear Countess, may I suggest you try holding your breath? For a very long time. <laughs> talking to someone younger than myself. <laughs> no doubt he was denouncing the wickedness of the world in quoting Martin Luther. Dearest Frederick, all you were witnessing was the latest crisis in his love affair with God. <laughs> Not with God, Mrs. Eggerman. With you. Me? Well, you may not have noticed, but he's madly, hopelessly in love with you. Really the truth? Yes. He told me so himself. Oh, the poor dear boy. Oh, how ridiculous of him, and yet how charming. Oh, dear friend, if you n only knew how insecure I constantly feel, how complicated the marriage state seems to be. Well, I adore old Frederick, of course, but... But Mrs. Eggerman, he ran down towards the lake. Oh, to gaze over the ornamental waters. How touching. Let us go find him. Such a good-looking boy, isn't he? With such long, long lashes. Who needs a haystack? Anything you've got to show, you can show me right here. That is, if you're in the mood. When am I not in the mood? I would know what I... I'm just passing through! I'm in the mood! I'm in it 24 hours a day! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Raggerman! Private here, isn't it? Henrik! Henrik! What are they up to? Are them, what are they ever up to? Henrik! Mr. Raggerman! You saw them at dinner, dressed up like waxworks, <laughs> jabbering away to prove how clever they are, never knowing what they miss. Henrik! Catch one of them having the sense to grab the first pretty girl that comes along and do her in the soft grass for the summer night, just smiling down. Any complaints yet? Give me time. You've a sweet mouth, sweet as honey. Your dragoon and his wife are glowering at each other in the pavilion, and all the children appear to have vanished. So when I saw you sneaking up the stairs... I 
ripped my hem on one of the chairs in all that furor. <laughs> Is this all right? Of course. Sit down. On the stockings? <laughs> I don't see why not. <laughs> well, we're back at the point where we were so rudely interrupted last week, aren't we? Not quite. If you'll remember, we'd progressed a step further. How true. I imagine neither of us is contemplating a repeat performance. Oh, good heavens! <laughs> With your wife in the house, and my lover and his wife, and my daughter... And my devoted old friend, your mother! <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't my dragoon all... <laughs> <laughs> when you told me he had the brain of a pea, I think you were being generous. <laughs> oh. Oh. What in God's name are we laughing about? Your son was right. We don't fool that boy, not for a moment. The one and only Desiree Armfeld dragging around the country in shoddy tours. Carrying on with someone else's dim-witted husband. And the great lawyer Egerman, busy renewing his unrenewable youth. Bravo. Probably that's an accurate description of us both. Shall I tell you why I really invited you here? When we met again and we made love, I thought, maybe here it is at last, a, a chance to turn back, to find some sort of coherent existence after so many years of muddle. Of course, there, there is your wife, but I, I thought perhaps, just perhaps, you might be in need of rescue, too. From renewing my unrenewable youth. It was just a thought. When my eyes are open...